सर यू नमस्ते माय डियर स्टूडेंट यस्टरडे आर दैट मी स्टार्ट द प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द इंडिसेस लॉ ऑफ द इंडिसेस एंड नाइन लॉ आर देयर ऑन दैट डे वी हैव डिस्कस दैट एंड अप टू सेवन लॉ आई हैव एक्सप्लेन दैट एंड रिमेनिंग टू आर देयर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल एक्सप्लेन द टू लॉ एंड देन ओनली वी आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई दैट लॉ टू डू दिस exercise that means we are going to evaluate them yes so at first the seventh sorry eighth one eighth one it is given that if a upon b that means what if the base a upon b power minus m is there then b upon a whole power m will be this is the eighth one and the ninth law is that Nth root of a power m is there, then we can write what a power m upon m. This m root no, this goes to the denominator of the power to the other side. And how this can just I will explain that. Yes. So at first for the eighth number one, do that a upon b. This is the base. A upon b is the base. A upon b whole power minus m is there. So in order to make the power positive, yes, the bases are in the division form. Numerator and denominator is there, and they are being changed. That denominator goes to the numerator, and numerator goes to the denominator. For example, as an example, look that. Yes. A upon B minus M is there. Yes. So this we can write like this, or not? A minus M upon B minus M or not? We can write that. We have already discussed about that, no? This one. If they are in the division form and power M is there, then this M is for A also for B also. We will like the same, yes. Now, <coughs> so, and if the power is negative, if the power is negative, so in order to make it positive, it or the whole term comes to the denominator. That's why we get what one upon a power m whole upon one upon b power m. Yes, sir. This one, this one. We converted that one upon a power m. Similarly, b power minus m is what one upon b power m. We get that, and now look that one, two, three, four terms are here. No? Sequentially, in serial way, four are there. So, lastly, the fourth will goes to the first, and the second to the third. Yes or no? So we get what one into. B power m upon a power m b two one. We get what b power m upon a power m. Yes, if the power is same, so we can write b upon a power m. Yes, we get this one. So directly we can write like this now. No need to do these steps. We can directly interchange the bases and keep the Power in positive form. Now for the ninth one, yes, for ninth one, if you take that, if there is a nth order, yes, for example, for the ninth one, if we are going to take cube root term, yes, one hundred twenty-five, yes, sir, one hundred twenty-five cube root of one hundred twenty-five is what five into Five into five. If you take it as the factor, no, one by five. So we get what? Q root high power three. Yes, three. That means that in Q root, out of three, one can side. So we get what? We get five. And this can be written as yes. This can be written as like this or not? Or we can write this as five three. Upon three are in the power. 
That means we are getting the division 3 and 3 we can cancel and we get 1. That is what high power 1 means 5. Yes or no? So this is how or why we use this law by apply m through a power m equals to a power m upon m. Yes? Now directly we can write like this. No need to multiply this all and then take out it by pairing the 3, 3, 3 like this. No need to do that. We have to just write. If the order is there, then that order or root of the other divide the power of the base. Yes? And these are the nine laws are there. We have already discussed that. And now the application of this law to evaluate this one. I have written the question and get question and we will discuss one by one. So <clears throat> and these laws are equally important in class 10 also. So this is the very uh, a bit important too in point of exam point of view also. So look at first number. I will do that first. Yes, for that solution, 5 power minus 3 is here. Now compare that. Look, we have to know that which law we are going to apply here. Now, base is the 5 and power is the negative. Now, till that, a power minus m, we did write on that a power minus m is 1. We have written 1 upon a power m. Yes? So apply the same law. We get what? 1 upon 5 power 3. Yes or not? This 1 upon 5 power 3 means what? 5 3 times. That means 5 key, no? 5 into 5 into 5. And that means what? 5 5 is 25. 25 5 is 125. So we get 125. That is our answer. Yes, for the first one, and by applying that, and we get in the easy form or not. Yes, similarly for the second one, second rule that 16 whole power minus 3 upon 4 is there. Yes, so 16 is here, whole power minus 3 upon 4 is there. Now look that the base is 16, and power is minus 3 upon 4. 16. Uh, 16 can be written in the form of take that the factor of the 16 2 8 to the 2 4 the 2 2 the 2 1 the how many 2 are there? 1 2 3 4 are there. Yes or not? So 16 can be written as 2 power 4 and whole power minus 3 upon 2. That is an yes and <coughs> sorry and if and we have this law or not if a power m whole power n is there then what we did in the law a power m into n that is what power are multiplied and here that is same in the same form or not so we are going to apply the same 2 power 4 into minus 3 upon 4. Yes? Now look at this four upside and this four downside. So up and down we can cancel that easily and we get what? Here one remain 1 minus 1 into minus 3 we get minus 3. So you become 2 power minus 3. Yes? And 2 power minus 3. Now in the same way no? apply that one. It become what? 1 upon 2 cube. Yes? Well, to make the positive, to make the power positive, it all the term comes to the denominator. Mm -hmm. Yes? So 1 upon 2 power 3 and 1 upon 2 power 3 that means we get a and that is our answer. Yes? Similarly, for the third one, third one, I will do it here. Yes? Do that. Third number. Third number. Yes, it is given that we have 4 cube into 8 square into 16 power minus 4 is there. 
that is anna yes anna this four this eight this sixteen this three tablo four eight and sixteen can be written in the form of two for the two four can be written as the two is square and one can be made the same into eight can be written two cube and this is square made the same similarly sixteen can be written two power four and this minus power four remain the same yes now by applying the other yes this one uh, I have written that already a power n into n we get what a power n into n this power multiplied and we are going to apply at first that one yes so we get what 2 power 2 into 3 into 2 power 3 into 2 into 2 power 4 into minus 4 is that no yes and now multiply 2 3 the 6 base is same 6 into 2 power 3 to the 6 into 2 power plus minus minus 4 for the 16 now look that now it is in the form of the law first no if the base is same and they are in the product form then we can add the power no? and here 2 is the same base so just add the power 6 plus 6 and plus minus 16 is there so let's write that in negative form so 2 power 6 plus 6 we get to it and minus plus minus it will become minus minus 16 so we get what 2 power 12 is the positive and minus 16 is there now look back 16 or 12 in 16 and 12 16 is greater and the value having the greater we put that sign no so we have the minus over here and subtract by 1 16 minus 12 that means 4 is here yes and the power is the negative so to make it positive it goes to the denominator yes or not so 2 power 4 means what 2 power 4 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 4 that no we get what 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 and so in place of that we can write 1 upon 16 that is our answer yes so in this view we can simply find or we can evaluate we can find the value of these terms by applying or this exercise is easily easy for us also thus we are going to apply the law only no need to uh, do other things just applying the law multiplying the power uh, the base the base are same and we are doing the same and uh, similarly for the fourth one and fourth one i will do that fourth is there then five is there we have to three <coughs> and this is the easy two and this in this is is equally important in class 10 which i have already told you that yes now for the fourth one fourth one what it is given that cube root and this is the 5 and then again root that is the square root is there and then whole root is there this is and this 5 is not in the form of or this is this 5 is not the order of this root yes okay so nothing is there that means what that is the square root no? 2 is here we have to keep that yes so cube root 5 yes square root means what we get what this 625 let's take the factor of 625 and first 625 is what with the 5 5 points and, and 1 remain so it becomes 12 5 to the 10 again 2 remain 25 yes 5 points are 25 now again with 5 5 to the 10 and 2 remain it will become 25, 5, 5 is 25. Again, 5, yes, 5, 5 is 25, 5, 1 is 5. So, how many 5 are here? 
for adding. Yes or no? So we can write in place of this 5 power 4 or not? Yes? In place of that, yes? And by a flying up, yes? We can write this as 5 power 4 divided by 2. Yes? This here, the order is not given, that means there is 2. No? So that's why this order divides the power of the 5. So we get 2. 2, 2 is a 4 or not? Yes? So King root 5 into 5 is 5 we remain. Yes? Here 5 is 5 is remain. So it will become what? Q root 5 into 5 is 5 is that is 5 cube is there. Yes? And this order again by applying the love same love. Yes? This 3 divides the power of that five. No? 3 by 3. And 3 3 is a 1. We get and something power 1 that is what? The same number. 